Uh, Zoe, what are you doing about Malpaca? Please stop. Please stop. How's it going, guys? And welcome back to the guide series for Pal World. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually catch the trainers inside of the Syndicate Towers. Now, I know this has already been shown by a lot of different YouTubers. I originally saw this from a different channel, which I'll link below, but I'm doing it now for a video just for the completeness of the uh, guide. And so you guys can do it. I'm sure it will get patched eventually, but basically step one, you want to come to the first tower and capture this fast travel here on the map. There it is. There's the tower. So from here, I'm going to teleport over to the small settlement. This seems to be the easiest place to do it, but you basically just want to shoot this guy once. You get a wanted level, fast travel back to the syndicate tower. These guys will teleport with you and continue to attack you. Try not to die as you run up and onto the uh, up to the tower. So we'll keep that wanted level, come inside, press F to join, hold it, and enter. And you'll get the cutscene, but you can hear the guys reloading because they're in the, the map with us. Uh, so we'll hold the skip before they kill us. And what you want to do is to basically kite the boss. Do not attack the boss. And just get in between the boss and the guys. So see, it shot the boss. The boss then bugs out and runs to this corner. That's how I've seen it happen every time. You can then use any sphere to hit it and it'll say zero percent but there you go new pal captured zoe and grisbolt level 10 and now you basically just have to die because there's no other way to leave this so just let these guys kill you which actually might be difficult because on my guide series i have a, a buffed healing speed there we go they'll do it they'll, they'll get me down Come on, a few more shots. You got it, boys. There we go. So now that we died, first death of the uh, guide series. There we go, like to see it. So we're gonna click respawn and we'll go to our home base, which I built over here. And if we check out our pal box, and there it is, the boss soul of Zoe and Grizzbull. Now it's only level 10. You know, it's attack, defense, work speed stats are pretty normal. But the broken thing is the HP pool. It keeps the HP from, you know, the actual boss fight. So this, this guy is incredibly broken. Way more HP than everything else I have. Even my level 31 Gale Claw, you know, nobody's above 2.5k. This guy's got 30k. So we'll pop him into our team. And... You know, he, it's just nice to have somebody who pretty much can't be killed. And there it is. Zoe is even riding on him. So, yep, see, he gets to work. He's going to do some logging. Now he's distracted again. But, yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, it's really simple. Just a quick video for you guys. Uh, I'm going to leave it up to you whether you're willing to abuse a glitch like this. It's kind of fun. You know, you can capture it just to have it. Uh, you can capture her, I guess, to have it. And keep it around. Like, you don't have to use it. But it's going to get patched eventually. So if this is something you are interested in using and abusing, then you're going to have to get it quick. Because I'm sure that patch will come any minute now. <laughs> Perfect time to test her out. We've got a raid coming in. The Free Pal Alliance. And apparently my gun wasn't loaded. Go fight! Fight! <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure why it's not defending. There we go. It doesn't do much damage yet. It is only level 11 right now. But infinite health pool, it's not going to die. You dare attack my base, you get captured. I think that's all of them? We got one more somewhere? Oh, yep, that guy down there. And he's dead. 
So yeah, and just from that fight, got leveled up to 22 because I do have, you know, max settings for the guide series. So that's about it. That's what I wanted to show you guys. And yeah, hope you have a good day. Uh, I will mention a few things about the guide series that I've been working on. Uh, you know, first off, we're going to show where every Lift Monk effigy is. You should have already seen that first video that came out. Uh, if you do want to be up to date on all things PAL World uh, with these, this guide series, then please drop a subscription down below. I plan on getting a breeding guide out, a fastest mounts guide out. I'm currently working on the fastest mounts video right now uh, with the dire wolves. So you can probably see I've caught a lot of dire wolves recently, trying to get all of the fastest stats so you can then breed them together. Like, we want the Swift. I don't remember the other one. Uh, there's Nimble. Yeah, trying to get the fastest mount possible is what I'm currently working on. So, subscribe if you do want to see that video so you can follow the guide and do it yourself. But, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.